Welcome to Kitty Cars! Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video we are playing Kitty Kart 64. Now this is an N64 cursed game experience, it's one of those kind of like creepypasta style cursed Nintendo 64 games, a little bit like Shipwreck 64 which we played earlier in the year. So I thought I'd check this out today guys, I'm a big fan of Mario Kart and stuff like that, so yeah, a horror game based around that kind of concept seems interesting to me, so let's dive in and see what Kitty Kart 64 is all about. All right, we got single player, multiplayer. Can we go on multiplayer? Player two not detected. Oh, we can do this with a player two, but I don't have a player two right now. So we're going to do single player, guys. Let's dive in. Now, I don't know how this game is haunted in which way, but there's going to be something spooky about it. Three, Looks fairly normal to two, begin with, though. One, go! All right, how do we go? We go with the A button. Okay. So I guess... We just race around the track. We don't seem to have any other opponents, though. It's just us on the track alone. Is this just like a time attack mode or something? We've definitely got the look of those old Nintendo 64 games down, though. We, of course, are playing as a kitty cat <laughs> in our little go-kart here. And we're about halfway through the track so far. This is a shorter track. Oh, looks like there's a little fire over there. I can see some smoke going up. Can I go and explore over there? Can I bust through here? Looks like I can. Huh, this is interesting. So what's that, is that a car crash? Yeah. Can I do anything with this? Nope. Okay, this is just a crashed go-kart. But that's interesting, it's kind of like, I think it's one of these games where we have to explore the racetrack and see if we can figure out like, oh, why's the music going? See if we can figure out where the scary stuff is, I was gonna say. But yeah, the um, the audio's kind of gone now. Oh, can we go off the edge? Whoa! We can. I don't know if we were meant to have done that. <laughs> oh God! We found we broke the game, guys. We found the scary bit already. Is this like the debug zone? Wait, is this blood? I feel like we're gonna sink in this. Do we have to kind of get to the signs? Keep ourselves out of blood. I can look behind me. Oh my god. Okay, this is sinking. Yeah, guys, I think we're on a time limit here. I can't actually see our timer anymore, but... Oh, we crash into that. Yeah, I'm gonna try and... Wait, there's a haunted face over here, guys. Let me see if I can go over to the haunted face. Look at this. It reminds me of the clown. Uh, not the clown, the puppet from um, FNAF. You know, the marinette. Can I crash into this? No, I'm just trying everything here, guys. I don't know what the objective of the game is, but we are sinking. Oh my god, we're gonna sink fully. We're gonna sink fully. I shouldn't have come out this way. Why did I do that? Please. No, please. Oh god, we've died. I don't know what that means. Okay, now we're in a, des a desert level. I shouldn't have explored to the uh, creepy face, but we did. What's that? Can I go into the water? Oh, yeah, we can. Who's this? A little rabbit. Ah, uh, desert's supposed to be hot? I can't feel anything at all. Alright, I'll just leave you be then. We're in the oasis right now. Let's uh, go back onto the racetrack. Oh, there's something over there, I think. Oh, maybe just palm trees, actually, that way. Hmm... This is so strange, this game already. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I just keep kind of like fumble my way through it from place to place. Oh, the music has gone again. Yeah, this is strange. I'm going to head towards this pyramid, see if there's anything out this way. Oh, okay. The game is breaking. Uh, yeah, this isn't good. This isn't good. Am I meant to just follow the track? I don't know. I'm going inside the pyramid. Yeah, I feel like we uh, we have a broken game cartridge here, guys. We're going to have to blow into the game cartridge. Like, do you remember when you used to do that? When a game cartridge uh, wasn't working, you'd blow the dust out of it. I feel like it's corrupting or something kind of like that. Oh. Is this a doorway? Are these meant to be doorways? Can we go through these? No. Okay. 
I thought maybe we could go through those, but no. Nope. Okay. I'll go back into the, uh, the water. Man, this is so strange. It's actually spooking me out a fair amount. But I really don't know what we're meant to do. Maybe we go and see the rabbit again now? Now it's all glitching out. He looks like he's sinking. Oh, he's drowned. Holy moly. I can feel something now. Right, what can you feel? I don't know what it can feel, but it's drowned. Um, I'm kind of on edge. Maybe we speak to the rabbit, we drive around a little bit more, and then something else will change. I really don't know. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting from this game. I kind of like these experiences, though, where, you know... Oh, the music's starting. Yeah, I like these experiences where you just don't know what to expect. I think if we keep doing laps, maybe something else will change. I just don't know what. There's music around this area. Oh, wait, is that something over there? Is this something over here now? What's this? Oh, a note. What is that, though? It's like a light coming down from the sky. Hmm. So we've got a secret note. I wonder if I missed any secret notes in the other areas. Oh, okay. I just fell down, guys, when I went in the water. That was very loud. So something definitely changed. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck? We got twitching corpses. What if I go into them? Does anything happen? This is so weird. Do I go into the building blocks? No? Yeah, this is, this is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to keep driving about until something, uh, something changes. But we've got all these glitching, like, bodies. Can I go through this? No? Um, okay. I'm just gonna go this way. Don't mind me. Weird twitching bodies. Oh my god, guys. This is freaky. What the heck? I can't do anything. I'm scared I'm being chased or something in this environment, you know? Like somebody's gonna be chasing me through this maze. Do I have to touch one of the bodies? No? It looks like the building blocks are stopping us from exiting this place. Maybe I go this way. I don't know, guys. I'm just going to keep going around. Who knows where we go? It's so hard to control as well. Ah! Let me out! I want out! Wait, I can hear something. Is someone chasing me here? Maybe I go this way? Just let me out, please. Oh, no, I can't get out. Man, this is freaky. Not gonna lie. If I was playing this as a kid on my N64, I think I would be returning it straight to the, uh, to the blockbuster, you know? Oh, we've gone off the edge. I'm so glad we're out of that environment. I'm not gonna lie. That was, like, the freakiest place yet. Congratulations. Ooh. We can pop the balloons, yay! It's so much fun! I think we beat the game! Oh my god, okay. If we pop these balloons, they're full of blood, guys. We can hear screaming. The souls of the people trapped in this cursed game. I'm guessing our, our, um, our goal here is to pop all the uh, balloons full of blood. And now we can hear crying. Oh, what's this? Oh, just another congratulations sign. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep popping the bloody balloons. Sorry about that. I don't like hearing this either. Maybe I have to pop all the balloons. I don't know. We're just putting these people through some kind of turmoil here. Don't feel very comfortable with it. Oh God. I think I heard a baby, man. Yeah, this is weird. What am I playing on the channel today, guys? Oh. Okay, now we've popped. I can kind of hear nice church music, though. Someone singing in a choir or something. Oh, we're on a highway. Okay. 
interesting. There's a light down there. I feel like we may be meant to follow the lights. There's fish. Why are the fish floating around here as well? This game is a mind trip, that's for sure. Got another light. It's like saying go this way. There's a light over there. Hmm. Oh, there's a character over there actually. Can we speak to this character? It's a cat. We saw the bunny before, now we've got a cat. Oh, they're all glitching out though. Okay, I'm gonna leave you be. I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. If he's trying to warn us, he goes, do not go any further. Oh, is that something I can pick up? What is this? A scrap of paper? Can I get that? Is that a fish or is that a bit of paper? I can't. I don't know what that is, guys. I can't do anything with this, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, I guess we leave that. I thought that might be something useful, but obviously not. I'm going to try going back this way. Just see what we can find. Some fish over here. Again, I don't know why there's fish. Another light here. Okay. It's telling us to go down. We've got to the water here. Am I meant to go in the water? I have no idea what I'm even doing, guys. This is mad. We're just floating around in the water. I feel like I'm going to drown if I'm not careful, though. Oh, here's the cat again. Hello. Again, he's saying something, but I can't understand what. So I'm going to have to leave him be. So strange. We'll just keep going forward, I guess, through this gloomy city. Oh, what's this? A note. What the heck is that? It's like a creepy face. Is this trying to tell us that somebody drowned? Is that what it's trying to do? We've got a ramp here. Can we go off the edge of a ramp? Hey! I don't know if we wanted to do that. What the heck? We're in a parking lot now. Yeah, this doesn't feel like Mario Kart 64, that's for sure. Feels, uh... I don't know what it feels like. What the heck is this? A pool of blood? Oh, it's an arrow. It says go this way. So if I beeline in a straight line from the arrow, it should take me to another one, right? Sitting over here. Ugh. What the heck? Are they teeth? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. I'm just going to try and go in a straight line-ish. Oh, there's something over here, though. What is this saying? Oh, it's saying go back. Okay. Go back this way. Is it... Does it mean in this building? I think it must mean in here. Oh god, I didn't want to go down here. Why have we gone further into this place? Yeah, now we've got arrows pointing us straight forward. Okay. Um... Just follow the arrows, I guess. Fairly simple. Oh. It says this way. What the heck? Why is it pointing us back now? Is stuff changing? Oh yeah, down this way. Okay, I get you. It's a very specific path we're meant to be going on. It says this way now. I'm scared we're going to get a jump scare soon. I feel like this is leading us to some kind of jump scare and I don't like it. Just uh, brace yourselves, guys. What is this? Oh, this is the end. Nice, finish. Hey. Oh. Okay. We didn't quite make the finish line. Something stopped us. Our tires were burst, I think, by those nails that came up. Oh my god, what is this? What is this thing? Is this like a humanoid thing? Oh my god, it's coming for us, guys. What the heck is that? 
Ah! Oh my god, he's hacking us to bits. Uh, okay, I think we're dead. I think he well and truly hacked us. Oh, congratulations. We've been hacked up, guys. We're in a pool of blood next to our little go-kart. I guess we know why the go-kart at the start crashed now. And all the animals we met along the way, I guess, were our competitor racers. And they also got killed by this thing. I think that's the story, right? You play this game, you get killed by the entity living inside it. And, uh, yeah, the game's just closed Welcome down, guys. Door. That's the end. So, interesting little game, that. A short one. It took me about, I'd say, 17 minutes to complete it, maybe. So, pretty short. But definitely interesting. It is free to play. I'll leave a link below. You can go check it out for yourselves. Just uh, a little cursed N64 game experience there. And, you know, it was quite fun. I got to play on the controller as well, which was fun. I usually have to play on the keyboard and mouse. For this one, I got to play on the controller, which was uh, a nice little change. But yeah, definitely an interesting game. Not much to it story-wise. It kind of is pretty obvious what's happening there, as I just explained. But it was creepy. It definitely got progressively creepier as it went on. And yeah, I had some uh, some good times with that. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video today, guys. If you have, I'd appreciate it as always if you can leave me a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.